Hi partners, how are you? I'm Nikki. Actually, we have T20P or T40 in the market now with the generators. To consider about the safety issue, so today I would like to introduce the safety instructions of DJ Agra's generators. I think this is an important lesson for you. As you know, we have two types of generators from DJI. One is D four thousand IE for T forty, and the other one is D six thousand I for T twenty P. But I think for many of you, you use the first one. So before actually, I introduce something about the safe use of generators. But now I would like to emphasize this information again. Firstly, try not charge the battery in the car because sometimes if accident happens. Then it may cost a lot, but sometimes we have to charge in the car because outside we could not find a good environment to charge in other places. So if like this, the exhaust port of the generator must be facing outwards. This is very important because the temperature nearby the exhaust port is very high. Additionally, please do not put the inflammable materials nearby. Sometimes putting these materials nearby is risky. And thirdly, please keep a certain distance between the battery and the charger. The further, the better. So the high temperature nearby the generator will not influence the battery charged. So these are the first basic items we should put in our mind when charging using the generators. And for some customers, they would like to buy the generator from the market. By which I mean from the third-party market. In this situation, the output power of the generator should be above 1,000 watts for T40 batteries and above 6,000 watts for T20P battery. This is the requirement for the power. And additionally, we should choose the three-phase generator for T40 batteries or. T20P batteries because the charging efficiency will be high. Of course, sometimes we could choose the single phase generator, but the efficiency will be low. Furthermore, we have the air cooled heat sink accompanying with the generator sometimes, but I think it could be a spare part for you. If you use the heat sink, please note that it will only start to work when the temperature of the battery cells is above 20 Celsius degree. If it's cold, it will not work. I think it's easy to understand this because we only use the heat sink when it's hot. Please pay attention to this. This is an important issue. If we use the T20P generator in high altitude areas, we should use a special plateau carburetor at this moment because it does not use electric fuel injection technology. So we should change a special battle carburetor. But for T40 generator, it uses electric fuel injection. So actually it can adjust its power for self-adaption even in high attitude areas. But what we should do is to set the attitude in the app when outdoors. For example, you could put the generator outdoors and connect the remote controller with the generator and turn the remote controller and the generator on. So in the app, you could set the attitude. Below is the video. Here is an important tip. Sometimes you have to change the engine oil. For example, when the light of AC module, generator, or the charger of T40, T20P flashes four times in light, then you have to change the engine oil in the generator. Here is the AC module and generator light. If it flashes four times in light, then it means you have to change the engine oil for the generator. When you use the generator for the first time, you have to add the engine oil. And after 20 hours of the use, please change the oil again. And after that, every 50 hours, please change the engine oil again. Finally, please press maintenance complete in the app after changing the oil so it could work normally and smoothly. 
Okay, that's all the content for today about the safety use of generators. Please keep in your mind. Any questions, please let me know. Thanks.